What kind of person would do this? Whoever this person is, he has played World of Warcraft nearly every hour of every day for the past year and a half. We are dealing with someone here who has absolutely no life. Hey everyone, it's Becky. So today I'm here with my very first Hellsleeper 2 job. In case you didn't know, the developers of Hellsleeper 2 basically gave us all their tools that they use <laughs> to create homes, to create the jobs, all the story mode things. So we are able to make our own jobs. Some of these tools here and all the ones down here are items that you use to create your own job. And then you can upload them onto mod.io and let other players do your job. So I will link this job down below and I hope you play it and let me know how it goes. So this home I created is based off a very popular South Park episode. The episode is Make Love, Not Warcraft. I don't really know everything about South Park, but the little boys are basically um, fighting against a unknown gamer, kind of, in World of Warcraft. And he's basically like a slob. Um, I'll insert a picture here of what he looks like from the point of view of his computer. So I made this house based on what the living room in that background looks like for him. And then I also created a kitchen, a bathroom, and a bedroom kind of all to go together into one nasty little house. So it is very run down, lots of grime, lots of I don't even know what. It is pretty disgusting and it is a very big job. I hope you have plenty of trash bags. Hope you're ready to get down on your hands and knees and scrub because it is a huge job. Special thanks to Mr. Building Becky. Um, he came up with the idea for this and he helped do a lot of the stains and dirt and everything. He's definitely the job expert for me. He did so many funny little things that we are going to tour in this house. So again, we are going to tour the house and then hopefully you can download it and do the job on your own. So this is what the outside of the house looks like. Got a lovely pine tree here and the nice little house. I tried to do like some overgrown bushes in the front and things like these you will be able to sell in the game and then I have like new bushes to put in and then the inside you're selling and um, getting rid of tons of junk and then I just have really basic new sofas, new cabinets, things like that for you to place in. Here we go up these little rickety front steps. Lots of grime on there and on the bottom of the door to clean up. Actually, I think I am going to put it onto the actual job mode right now. I'm basically in like the playthrough mode so you can kind of see what it looks like. So it has the quest um, up in the corner. Right now it has showing things you can buy. But when you go to the quest here, you're selling all these items and then you are doing lots of trash items, there's some stains, and all things like that. And now we can head inside, um, plug your nose, bring your hazmat suit, whatever you gotta do. <laughs> so we have a ton of things to sell in here, a ton of trash, and over 1500 stains. I told you, you're gonna be scrubbing a lot, I'm sorry. Also lots of vacuuming, and then you're going to finish some surfaces in both the living room and kitchen, these things are for. And then you're going to rebuy some items. I don't know why, but the kitchen and living room seem to be labeled as one room. So obviously these are kitchen items. These are some living room items. But yeah, here we are in this grimy little house. Here is the little sofa, um, coffee table area, lots of boxes. Love using the trash generator for all of this. You don't even want to know what's going on in this house. There's just boxes, there's chips. There is still liquidy stains. Um, you can make stains like dry or wet. Got his boot prints coming into the door. Straight to the computer, of course. All this fun stuff. Got the cookies spill out on the ground. Oh no. Grimy old cabinets. Of course, got the World of Warcraft and all the different video game posters. Pipe train. Plant. I think I'll actually need to go back into sandbox mode in order to show you some things a little closer up. But for now, we'll continue this tour as is. He missed the trash can a lot there. <laughs> then the TV area here. Got some video games stacked down on the ground, some takeout containers, a couple things above the TV. I made it like a big box TV using like a refrigerator. So obviously, there's lots of things for you to sell here. Got a little stool. He really likes Pizza de Bessie, apparently. <laughs> lots of empty boxes with a few scraps of pizza in them. But yeah, we have lots of water damage, some mold up on the walls, nasty. Got some little blinds missing from the curtains. Gotta jump over the pizza box and get into the kitchen. Again, dirty footprints, nasty dirt all over the floors, some pizza crust on the table. Definitely made all the furniture items super grimy, old looking. That 
lots. So you can get lots of energy drinks. We got some milk. We got some hot sauce in here. Nothing in the microwave, actually. It's just a little bit dirty. I made this Hot Pocket box. Very funny and even like a moldy little half of Hot Pocket leftover. Standing on some chips. Gross. Moldy cheese. Got some whiskey there. Tipped over bottle of soap. Old plates. And then super funny. I feel like I need to make a whole video showing how to use like the different dirt tools. Because we're able to make a rotten banana and then make like mold all over this um, hamburger. Definitely very easy to go ham with the different dirtifying effects. And it was very fun to do so. But yeah, lots of grime here on the stove even though I feel like he doesn't cook very much. Based on how many takeout boxes and pizza boxes we have scattered around here. Even have a melting little popsicle. Okay. Let's see. Moving right along. Again, this is the living room area. So pretty. And now we go into the bathroom, which is very scary. <laughs> Obviously the toilet. Um, I don't even want to go near this thing. We've got some suspicious stains and stuff on the ground and inside the toilet. I don't think this thing has ever been cleaned. Obviously the little toilet cleaner is just laying there on its side. We have some green mold back there. We have half-eaten donuts and a toothbrush on the back of the toilet and some chips there on the floor in front of the vanity. Definitely some weird mold happening on the vanity as well. Got the mirror all run down and then a very gross shower the shower curtain has certainly seen better days as well so yeah not very beautiful we have a nasty old towel hanging up on the towel rack and a very overflowing little laundry basket so yeah more watermarks more grime on the floor, his little footprints, a little telephone right there, some more grime, and then this is super funny, a little tally mark of days played. Definitely a fun little touch right there. And now into the bedroom. Got some beautiful green walls in here and nice purple carpets. Lots of trash, a random crutch, more takeout containers, some chips some tuna got a halo poster and then sad little bed with springs coming out i don't even have any sheets on it just a tiny little rock hard pillow the mattress is all lumpy and doesn't even put on the bed properly definitely a funny sandbox only little um bed right there got a beautiful wow poster some more water damage all that fun stuff have another um wow poster a little planter pot that crashed onto the ground. Another piece of furniture with a boombox on it. The most inviting bedroom. <laughs> Got that blackout curtain though. Very handy. Okay, I think we're going to go back to sandbox mode so I can zoom in on some things for you. Okay, so here we are. So it's really funny to like look up stains and stuff real close. I think it's really weird that they have like the wet and dry things. Under the desk is really gross. I like his little footprints like up on the wall, like where he puts his little toes and all the scratches and whatnot. His little footprints on the ground there. These cookies look so funny here, falling out of the box. What else? What else? Let's go in here. And this is super hilarious. It's like a little, um, it's so funny. I didn't even realize those little things. It's like a little mouse hole here. And those look like little mouse poops. And obviously these little footprints are leading right over to these little foods. Tasty little pizza and little chip snack for the mouse. Oh my gosh, he looks like he tried to crawl up the cabinet too to go get some hot pockets. Here's an up close picture of the rotting banana and molding burger. <laughs> Carrying on, what else is there? Oh yeah, the bathroom. The toilet looks really great up close too. And in there, and on that. I love the little chips down there. Up close, look at his little tally marks. Some gross little bed. The tuna chunks, all the excess um, energy drinks. Oh yeah, obviously he has the little Leet 1337 on his computer and then the big old wow scene part of the episode there. Here's what it looks like from this angle. I will again insert the picture from the episode to show you how realistic it looks compared to that. Mr. Lilling with Becky even like custom made this little donut with like the hot pink frosting and little sprinkles. Lots of grime all over the desk area. Again, I'm sorry you're gonna be scrubbing for hours if you decide to do this job. I hope you have all the cleaning perks unlocked. You're gonna need them all. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, link below to the job to be able to download and complete it. Please let me know if you have any feedback on the job if you enjoyed it, if you see any bugs. Again, this was my very first job and there was a lot going on in order to make the job. So hopefully I did it all correct and you will be able to complete it with no problems. But let me know either way. I will definitely do a video soon um, about jobs and how to um, do all the aspects of it. I think that should be helpful for some people. Let me know what you think of this grimy home. What's your favorite little part? 
part of it. There's lots of fun little things in here. Gross things, but fun. It was definitely super fun to be able to play with all the dirt and stains and whatnot. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Thank you.